put a track coat on it. We're using a hammer black paint. So in this we're going to need a, we bought a Pittsburgh 12 ton jack. We got these spring perches, got these at Summit Racing, they're about 12 bucks for both of them. Um, they come in a pair. Um, then we just have some tubing here, we measured it, it fits fine. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this. This is a 12 ton. Got our 5150 sticker on it. So what we're going to do here first, make sure this is tight. And we're just going to jack up a little bit. And what we want to do is check this. Around there, you can see that's a really nice fit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this out. This is an extension. It has an Acme thread on it. So it's all the way out. And what we want to do is measure this. So from, I'm going to go, so from the bottom, that's like five inches. So I'm going to take this to about all the way out because I want that to go around that shaft, that collar a little bit. So I'm going to make it about four and a half inches. So I'm going to cut that tube to four and a half inches. Um, that'll be this here. This is some, DO, uh, this is some DOM tubing. Um, it's an inch and three quarters. So let's go ahead and get this cut. I'm going to need a new blade pretty soon. Yeah. We said we wanted that about four and a half inches, which is right there. Okay, we'll go ahead and just make sure that's nice and collapsed. All right, we'll go ahead and cut this. Okay. We're going to go take it to the belt sander. I got to go. It's too hot. Cool it down, it's a little hot. Okay. And we're going to file this inside a little bit. There we have it, and this is going to go on here like that. And we'll go ahead and screw this down just a little bit. And we're going to take this, and we're going to weld this uh, rear end perch right to this. And then we have this little jack. Okay. So we're going to do that. 
There we go. Okay, we just got to get the welder out. This is this will fit a three inch or two and a half inch axle diameter. So basically, we're going to take this tube that we cut here. All right, you can see that I uh, just kind of sand that at an angle a little bit, and we're going to just center this up down in here like this. Get it centered. Do that, and then we're just going to weld this on there. So we're going to go ahead and set up the welder and get this uh, tacked up. All right, we're just going to go ahead and tack weld that, and you got to put the ground on it. Penetration looks like in this side. Can you... Okay, it looks like we got pretty good penetration. Go ahead and put it there we go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let this cool down and then. Okay, guys, here's the um, Harbor Freight Jack. It's a item number six nine four seven five. See there, it's an it's an eight ton. And this here is the axle adapter we just uh, built. You can kind of see it there. Uh, we haven't painted this one, but uh, that's how it is. So to make this work, uh, basically you just extend this out. Since this is gonna go in a Jeep that's either got 35s, 37s, or 40s, we're gonna make this fully extended. And then, just want to lift this up a little bit. What we want to do is get this round collar here around this, this um, shaft. So basically, we just put it on here. And then, it's nice and tight. And then when we jack it up, you can see it fits in there really tight. It doesn't wobble back and forth or anything. And then you just take this and jack it up in your jack it up, change your tire. That's like that. And there's the extension part for the bottle jack. So let's go ahead and try it on the Jeep and see how it does. Here you can see we have the tire flat and we put the jack underneath there so how this works just make go ahead and make sure that it's tight 
And we'll go ahead and lift this screw up all the way. So right now, we have the air let out of the tire here. This is a 35. And we're gonna go ahead and just put that on like that. it up underneath like that and then we can go ahead and jack it up so you can see it's gone around that uh, shaft right there and it's it's solid Yeah, that tire's off the ground there. We'll take it up a little higher. Then I'm gonna go shake the Jeep. See how stable it is. There you go. Alright, we're going to try that again. And there you go, we got it off the ground, the tire. Now with any jack, you don't want to be underneath the Jeep too long. Uh, you want to make sure something's going to, you don't want to be underneath there. Um, it is a bottle jack. pretty much how it works guys right. and then we're just going to go ahead and let it down again change your tire and pull it out like that So the advantage of a bottle jack over a high lift jack, when you have suspension that travels or droops a lot, it's really hard to get the tire off the ground uh, to change it. So if you can get underneath the axle like what we just did, you don't have to lift it that high and able to get the tire off. So again, that's a Harbor Freight jack. That's the piece we just built. Uh, I mean, it's probably about $15 in material. Pretty easy to do. We're also going to uh, make a video about making a, a base plate on the bottom of this to give it a little more, um, make it a little more secure. So uh, that'll be something that's coming up. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And there is everything you need. The bottle jack, the axle adapter, and there it is. We got it painted. Just letting it dry. There you go.